welcome back to Libri in Africa TV. I just want to say thank you to our viewers, to people that have subscribed. We really appreciate you. We love you. We just want to say you have to be patient with us for some times now because we have not uploaded some videos. More videos are coming on the way. But today I am going to be cooking ayamashi the way it's actually cooked. There's so many different ways of cooking ayamashi, but this is the way the effect people cook ayamashi. So people call it obeiru, but how differentiate it? Because it's different. Although they use it to eat the same thing, they used to eat it um, off of the rice, but this ayamashi is really nice. Just try it as I'm going to show us how to do it. These are the ingredients we're going to use for ayamashi. You can use different type of meat, but I decide to use, um, I'm using a body. This is her body. I'll put it in. This is her body. I've diced it for it to cook quickly and faster. You can decide not to dice it or cut it into small pieces. Well, I choose to cut it into small pieces. And I'm using pomo. That's the skin of the animal, of a goat or cow. It's white. They call it white pomo. Then I'm using cow feet this is cow feet i'm going to boil everything together i have to season it and boil it for about um one hour because it takes time for you to boil I'll put salt. Just season it to taste because it's still going to go into the amashi soup. I'm going to add water to it. Make sure you have enough water added to so that it won't get on. And use your onion. And make sure that it's tasty. After that, you put everything, the seasoning, your um, not seasoning and salt, and your onions. You put it on the stove to boil. You're going to leave it to boil for some time. Cover it. And... I have gizzard. I'm going to use gizzard as well and hats for for it because it's good as well. It's nice. As I've told you, you can use anything you like. Some people use goat's meat. Some people use beef. Some people use shaki. It depends on you. It depends on your taste. And some people use um, lungs. Different kind of things are being used for yamashi actually. But for me, I decided to use gizzard as well with hats. I decided to boil this one differently from from the cow legs and the um, from the cow legs and the skin because the cow legs and the skin cook much longer and this one cooks faster and this one is a lot it has a lot of blood inside I've actually washed it several times to remove the strain of blood from it so I'm going to do the same thing I did for the shaki and and the cow leg. I'm going to season it to taste. I'll season it to taste. Hard salt. And I'm going to use my onion. You can use different types of onions. I'm using two types. I'm using the red one and the white one. It depends. It doesn't actually matter. And you add water to this one as well. Oh, you, don't, you, don't, you don't need too much water because this one will bring up water by itself. But you still need some water. And as I've done earlier for the other one, 
I'll put this one too on fire to make sure that it boils well. This one doesn't take a long time to boil. It takes about 20 minutes to boil. So that's it. While we're waiting for our meat to boil, you can still be doing some other things like blending your pepper. I have two types. I have um, green pepper which is mainly used for ayamashi I have long pepper, green as well this one is normal, it's not chili actually as they told me in the market and I have this other one too, green as well but it's chili green long pepper as well, it's chili as in it's spicy more than this other one so I'm trying to mix the two together just to give it a little bit of spice and onions, for ayamashi I use a lot of onions actually this is onions that I'm going to use. So I'm going to blend everything together. And when I'm blending it, it's not going to be a smooth paste. It's going to be like uh, what you use for, what our mothers normally use for a foriru. That is vegetables, a kind of pepper that is not smooth. So, for, um, for green pepper, green tasache, I'm using seven of eight, seven, and this one just depends on how spicy you want it to be, it depends on you actually, but I'm using onions, I'm using at least about six, uh, five onions, I won't blend it at once, I'll blend it little by little, That's my onions. I put my green pepper. About two at the same time. And I put this green pepper as well. Then I had water. We have blended it. See, this is how it should look like. Not smooth at all. You can see, you can see this. You can still see the the shaft of the pepper inside. It's not smooth. So this is how your ayamashi pepper um, pepper should look like if you want to really cook a nice ayamashi. Now we're waiting for our cow leg to boil. Other ones are boiled. See, this is the skin. It boils faster than the cow legs. This is the heart and the gizzard. And I, I added some fuku, which is uh, lungs, and some shaki as well. Onto. While we're waiting for that, let's just continue. We're going to pour uh, uh, palm oil. I'm using about 500 ml of palm oil. It depends if you want, because I am actually takes a lot of palm oil. I use palm oil. So people use vegetable oil, but palm oil is the best for your mashing. So I'm going to bleach my palm oil. I'll pour it in my pot. Put it on the stove. And I'm going to cover it, allow it to for about 10 minutes I'm going to allow it to boil for about uh, to bleach for about 10 minutes after that I'll switch off the light allow it to cool down and I'll add some onions into it let's just leave it to boil for about 10 minutes now I'll bleach for about 10 minutes Now I have allowed my palm oil to bleach. Whenever you want to bleach your palm oil, just pour it in the pot, cover it, and allow and put your fire underneath, and allow it to bleach for about ten minutes. After that, remove the turn up your heat, 
and allow the the cover to still be on it so that it will cool down just to avoid fire in your house so now it has cooled down i'm going to put onions i'm going to put my onions I turn on the heat with my onions inside. I love to cook a bit more just to fry, just to fry the onion for about just a minute. I'm now going to put my pepper. I'm avoiding not to put too much water because it needs to fry very well. right now so the next thing is uh, I'll cover it and allow it to fry very well for about 20-30 minutes through about intermittently I'll come and be checking it to make sure that it's not burning so the next thing is just leave it to fry It has fried now properly. Yeah, you have to allow it to fry properly. See, this is how it should look like. I'm going to start putting my meat now. I'll first of all put this cow legs. Shaki and a liver, no, and um, shaki and skin with um, gizzard. Try as much as possible not to allow water to get in there. My body, I'm gonna put my body. See, the varieties of meat inside. Some people put egg, but I don't like putting eggs. Most parties, when they do amashi, they always like to put eggs. But if I'm cooking for my house, I don't put egg. But if I'm cooking for a party, I normally put eggs for people. But now I'm going to have my seasonings. As you know, I use maggi, uh, I use chicken no and chicken haromats. It takes quite a lot of seasoning because you are using green pepper. Add a little salt because I put enough seasoning. I don't need so much salt, so it won't be salty. Just a little will do. I 
and I cover it again for about five or ten about ten minutes for allow it to fry with the meat and everything so that the seasoning or the pepper will enter the meat properly so I'll just cover it now and leave it for some, about 10 minutes now I've allowed it to boil for about 10 minutes see this is how it feels it's done now yeah, my, my shit is done. By the time we leave it, after I remove fire, the heat from it, you see the oil will float. But now, I can turn up the heat and allow it to simmer. This is how you cook your ayamashi. So we're waiting for our, our, our father rice to cook. I've already put your father rice on fire and I'm going to wash my leaf. Because you actually put your father on inside the moi moi leaves to give the aroma. And that's let's just wait about 10 minutes for your father rice to cook. Thank you. Now uh, ayamashi is ready. Let's see, this is how it should look. This is ayamashi. Some people would like and um, put egg. But usually I don't put egg, except if there's a request for egg. And I've cooked my alfredo rice, I've put it inside my moi leaves. This is alfredo rice. Wow. This is the alfredo rice. I'm going to put my ayamashi on top of it. Ayamashi and offer the rice. That's how it tastes. Mm. It's yummy. My husband loves it so much. He can eat it in afternoon and night. So let's have a taste. Hmm. It's yummy. The recipe will be displayed on the screen. Please, I want you to give it a try and give us your reply. And let us know whether it turns out well, whichever way it turns out. And if you want to contact me, you can contact on the website or through YouTube channel. Tell your friend to subscribe and tell your friend to view it. It's all about Africa. It's all about culture. It's all about good things of life. Thank you for watching. Bye.